What's going on guys? Brandon over at Ohm Empire, back at it again. Uh, as you can see, I, I have an intro now. So, uh, big shout out to uh, Atta Berdiev. Um, I'm really sorry if I absolutely just butcher your name. Um, but he made that intro for me. Um, so, huge shout out to that guy. He's also the owner of uh, Soviet Vapors. I mentioned them in my uh, review of the Pink Lung Brigade's Culture of Vape event. Uh, that was really cool. He was really, just really nice guy. Uh, let me sample everything that Soviet Vapors had to offer. I enjoyed all of them, including some flavors uh, that they are yet to release. Um, in their pre-order which is up so I'm gonna have a link to um, Soviet Vapors um, website Soviet Vapors Instagram and um, at his personal YouTube where he makes um, music compilations and um, like gaming videos I watched a few of them and they're all shot in 1080p 60 FPS so they're really just good quality uh, so links to that all will be down in the description um, but it's not about any of that today. Today, I'm going to do a box mod review on my Blink Box, which is essentially just an ABS style dual parallel 18650 box mod. But I'm, I've am i really been liking this thing for about two or three weeks now. Uh, I've got my Tugboat V2 sitting on it right now. It's at like, it's at between 0.11 and 0.15 ohms right now. Um, I'll have a link to my tugboat review uh, down in the description as well. Um, but yeah, this thing has been functioning really well. Uh, dual 18650 MOSFET protected um, unregulated box mod and I'm liking it. Currently vaping on some uh, Ultimate Hype by Junkie Juice. Um, but in order to get to know this a little bit better, let's go ahead and take this up close and uh, it's probably going to be pretty short. It's pretty straightforward. Ain't a whole lot to it. It's just an unregulated dual parallel 18650, but I'll go ahead and show you the innards of it and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now, shall we? Alright, we are back, guys, up close and personal with the uh, ABS style blink box. So I'll give you just a quick once over. This is the door. It slides off just like slow. It's held in by two magnets. Nothing on the bottom, no venting on the bottom, uh, nothing on either side. It's all really smooth finish. Uh, got your button here. It's got a nice throw to it, but um, just get it all the way in there. But uh, you can see right here, I'm barely pushing that in at all, and it's 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 firing. So I feel like the throw on the button could have been a little bit better. Um, up top, this is a non-adjustable 510, so it will always just kind of stick out. Um, go ahead and look at the inside. These magnets are pretty weak, honestly. Just kind of, a, even just a little bit of pressure, and there they go. The door does glide on really smooth, though. This is all put together and, you know, built very, very well. Uh, the plastic is really durable. It's really hard. Honestly, I could probably get something engraved right in here. Um, but go ahead and pop the batteries out. Uh, most effective way I find is just to pop them out like an old remote. There we go. So there's the internals of it. Got your MOSFET up here. All the soldering. Right in the back there, you can kind of see the, uh, the LED that lights up. Switch. Uh, 510 connection. All these, it's really clean. It does have positive and negative uh, for the battery sled. That's nice. Um, spring negatives, <laughs> springboard negative contacts. Um, I believe these are uh, copper contacts. Uh, copper contacts for the positives as well. Again, another once over. So yeah, there isn't really a whole lot to see up close. Um, the magnets, yeah, like I said, they're they're pretty weak. Pop these back in and uh, show you something that I noticed. Actually, oh, there's the battery. I actually just noticed this the other day. Slides in like so. So, back and forth, no rattling. Up and down, no rattling. Oh! No rattling. Oh, there it is. Can you hear that? It does rattle a little bit. It's the batteries coming and hitting the door. Because these, um, these springs don't hold it all the way and just keep them from going anywhere. But I guess you got to do that in some respect to make them accessible. 
to get out. But overall, I've liked this box a whole lot. Go ahead and screw my uh, uh, tugboat back on there so you can see that it's not really adjustable. Yeah, you can see it sticks out. It's not adjustable. Yep, we have vapor. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back up top, guys, vape on a little bit more, talk about it, and uh, let you know where you can get one of these and where I got this guy. Alright, so we are back up top, guys. So really quick, I'm just going to go over a few things that I like and that I don't like about this box. Um, a few things I like. I think it's put together very well. Um, oh, I, I flooded my, my Addy. I'm a genius. Um, I feel like it's put together very well. This uh, plastic or not Delrin, but whatever material they really use to cast this box is it's it's put together. It's really sturdy. I've dropped this thing a few times. It hasn't scuffed at all. Um, the all the edges are rounded off. Uh, it's it's really it's clean on the inside. It's really just put together really well. Um, I like that it lights up. I think that's just kind of an aesthetic thing that's really subjective. Um, I'm going to take a toot on it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of things that I don't like about it. But overall, I think for the price, uh, for a dual, uh, unregulated 18650 MOSFET protected mechanical box, I think you're getting what you pay for with this one. It, I looked on a few different sites. I picked mine up for $49.99 at a shop called Awesome Vapor in Lacey, Washington. Uh, awesome Vapor has a few different chains in Washington. Uh, I think they have like five locations all up and down uh, this side of the state, the western side of the state. Uh, I picked up mine for $49.99. I've seen it on a few different shops for this ABS style box mod. This They have like the ABS Beast. Uh, this isn't the beast. It's just the style. I call it a blink box. I was told it's called a blink box. I could be wrong. It's just an ABS style box mod. But I found it on a siggreen.com for uh, 49 euros, which is essentially like 60 bucks. Um, and then I also found it on vapedemand.com, which uh, they were selling it for 59.99. Uh, both of them had free shipping. I think Sig Green had it in uh, a um, kind of like a translucent black, a translucent red, and then this kind of clear box. Um, so, the things that I don't like about it, I don't like this battery rattle, I don't like that at all. Um, I don't like that the uh, 510 isn't adjusted, isn't adjustable at all, so my Addies will never quite sit perfectly flush with that, um, with that 510 adapter. And the throw on the switch could have been a lot better. I shouldn't be able to just... Now it's firing. I, sh I want to be able to have to push down on that damn thing to get it to fire. I don't want even the slightest possibility of an auto fire going off in my pocket. Because like a bad vapor, I carry these kinds of boxes in my pocket. I've carried IPVs in my pocket, Sigellis in my pocket. I've auto fired both of them in my pocket. You figure I'd learn my lesson. But I didn't. The fact that it lights up just makes me really happy. Um, I like that the contacts are uh, copper. They're really conductive. I did look that up to be sure they weren't like brass or plated anything else. They are copper contacts. Um, the internals of this are very clean. It's another thing that I like. Um, the solder on it is not all over the place. The switch is all intact very well. Um, none of the grooves on the inside are super rough. They've all been sanded down. And, uh, oh, and the last thing that I don't like about it is how weak these magnets are and the fact that there's only two of them. I feel like they could have gotten away with having a third magnet in here somewhere, maybe up top near the 510 adapter. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Overall, I like this device, even though there's been more cons with it than there have been pros. Really, I feel like you're getting what you pay for, and if you're looking for Team Cheap Mod, uh, dual unregulated 18650 device, in parallel, I think they have some in series, but 
I don't know. I I don't need I don't need a series dual box. Uh, I, the battery life on this has been fantastic. Um, it's fired everything I've put on it. All of my Addies, all of my tanks. It's fired all of them. Um, overall, I just I do I like it a lot. Um, it's really comfortable in my hand. I have huge hands for how small of a person I actually am. <laughs> I'm I'm really short. I'm like five foot seven. I'm really, I'm a short guy. I'm little. But yeah, with all that being said, guys, uh, I think it's time to wrap this sucker up. Again, huge shout out to Atta Berdiev, um, Soviet Vapors. Links to everything that I mentioned before down below, including where you can get an ABS style box mod of your own. Um, and on that note, guys, Brandon, Dome Empire, signing off till next time. And as always, stay classy, Vape Fam.